Do you have knee pain or a brand new injury that you're looking to help you get through to that next stage so you can get back to your activities? Do you have chronic osteoarthritis and you're wondering, is there a brace out there that might make things feel a little bit better so I can keep doing the activities I love? I'm Dr. Tammy Penhollow of Precision Regenerative Medicine. Today we're talking about knee braces. This is going to vary from something that is a little bit of tape, an ACE wrap, all the way up into a very significant and very stabilizing immobilizer. I don't have an example of absolutely everything, but I brought three things that I do think are the most useful in most cases. We can go with something as absolutely simple as some KT tape like this. I find it's most useful when we can place it for something like a patella or kneecap tracking issue, patella femoral tracking syndrome, people with jumper's knee or runner's knee, this K tape placed strategically going from the top of the leg down to the bottom of the leg and pulling can help keep that kneecap in alignment as you're going through your day. The cool thing about K tape is that it can be applied by somebody who actually knows how to place it, then you learn where to place it yourself. Sometimes I do a little dash, dash, dash line so you know what edges to stay on. And then it can be worn throughout your day. It doesn't just have to be worn when you are doing some activities, such as being at the gym or during your sport. But you're probably seeing that most often when you see maybe some players who have their knees taped. The next up, from that would be if we're looking for a general sleeve. I really like this sleeve in particular. It has a breathable back. This actually does have some stabilization bars on either side. So it's a little bit more than just a plain old sleeve, but this one is also made up of a material that is going to help warm the knee, helps with an anti-inflammatory process, can help with swelling. So that just slides on over the knee. It is for right side or left side, so you don't have to worry about which side. And it is a very much fit to you based on measurements at the calf and above the knee. The next step up is one that I use very often when we have to unload the knee, meaning we have something wrong with the inside of the knee, medial, or we have something wrong with the outside of the knee, lateral. For example, a medial collateral ligament sprain or tear, a medial meniscus. Substitute on the lateral side, lateral collateral ligament or lateral meniscus tear. And particularly if we're talking about doing an orthobiologic or using your own cells, we put that into say the medial meniscus, then we don't want the weight bearing to crunch down on that freshly injected meniscus. So we want to unload it. The purpose of this brace then is to take some of the pressure off the medial side, or if you get a lateral and off the lateral side. This one happens to be for a left leg. You see that it actually does have a stabilization bar here and one here, but it's not on the outside. It's not huge, big, bulky with things that are going to get caught on your pants, for example, but it does a really good job of unloading the knee. So in the knee like this, this is that left side. This is a medial unloader brace. So it means that the pressure is coming from the lateral side and it's going to gap open the medial side of the joint or the inside of the joint and take the pressure off the knee. It doesn't have to be a medial meniscus tear or a medial collateral ligament strain. It could be that you actually have more wear and tear and worse arthritis on that medial compartment as well. This is very tolerable. It's got some breathability back here. It allows people to completely do activities and it's not something as huge and bulky as say you'd be placed in after a big surgical repair like an ACL, anterior cruciate ligament repair, where you absolutely do want to be completely stabilized, not able to bend that knee, not able to do any damage there. Those are the most common three that I use, K-taping, a Pull on brace, the big deal in here is it's anti-inflammatory properties because of what it's made of. And then an unloader brace that's not too big and bulky. I found that the only good brace is one that you're actually gonna use, one that you're gonna wear. So over the years, we found that these are the most three that are most widely tolerated. And I get a lot of feedback from my patients. If you wanna hear more, go to kneeboostnow.com. Please also like, 
subscribe and give me some feedback. What kind of things do you want to know about your knee? How can I help you? If you have knee pain and would like to learn more, I have a worksheet called five things to do now to reduce your knee pain within a week. Go to www.kneeboostnow.com to download it for free. I'd love to hear from you. So please like subscribe and comment below so I can help you get out of your knee pain.